Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be creating a Christmas card featuring the new Ho 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 Dynamics. This die is a lot of fun. It has this Ho 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 phrase in a really fun kind of font with these different little accents inside of the O's. And it also has some layering pieces. So when you get your die set, these are attached to the Ho Ho Ho. You just wanna remove those and you can cut them out separately to do a little bit of layering. So for my card, I wanted to create a little Santa scene and I wanted to have the ho 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 in the background kind of working with a secondary sentiment that I'm also going to add to the card. So what I wanna do is I wanna create some distress ink areas that I can use to die cut the different areas of this die. So I wanna use red, pink, and green. That's gonna kind of be our color scheme for this card design. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding this distress ink to my white card stock and I'm making sure I have a big enough area to cut out both the whole word as well as the little layering piece that we're going to add to the top of it. Now if you know me and you're familiar with my videos, you know I'm probably going to distress this with water. When you use water on distress inks, it kind of reacts with the ink and when you take a paper towel and you dab that water up, it lifts it off and kind of creates a really cool distress look. I just think it really adds a lot of definition and detail to a design, so I really love to do this whenever I'm using Distress Ink. So once I have that done and I know the panel is dry, I'm going to take all of these pieces and run them all through my die cutting machine, and I'm gonna cut out each of the words separately from a different piece of the color that we've created with the Distress Ink on the cardstock. And now you can see here I have all of the pieces cut out, and what I've done is I've die cut each of the different hoes to form the ho-ho-ho with a different color, and I've also cut out that layering piece. So you can see here with this large pink one, that little long piece layers right over top of the first part of the H. For the red one, we have a little piece that layers over top of the other side of the H. And then for the green one here, the little piece is going to layer over the center of the H. So we have these really fun layering elements that just add a lot of character to this design. And they're a lot of fun to play with. I decided to keep mine all of the same color, but you can kind of change it up and use the different colors on each of the different words, or you can use sparkle paper or something else that is a completely different look. Okay, so now I need to work on the background of our scene. So this is going to be the sky in the background. So for this one here, I decided to use evergreen bow first to cover my cardstock panel. And then I'm gonna go in with some peacock feathers and kind of go around the outside edge and pull a little bit of it into the center as well, just to kind of brighten this background up a bit. This evergreen bow is definitely kind of more of a muted green. It's not super bright, but I really wanted the phrase that we're going to add as well as the Santa that we're going to color to really stand out. So I didn't wanna have a lot of bright color in the background. And whenever I'm doing any kind of ink blending that's going to be a sky, I'm not super worried about getting it super smooth when I'm doing the blending. I kind of like the texture it adds by having a little bit of variation in that blending on the background. And I knew I was going to add water once again anyway, so I know that this is going to distress it even further. So for this one here, I added a ton of water just to kind of really get that snowy look in the background. And now I'm gonna set that aside to dry while we work on the Santa that we're going to add to the card. So for the Santa on this card, I'm going to be using this guy here from the Jingle All The Way stamp set. I really love him because he's just kind of so fun and playful. It looks like he's kind of jumping up into the air. And I thought it went really well with the big ho 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 that we're going to be adding into the background. So I stamped him out with some extreme black ink using my mini Misty. And now I'm just going to use some Copic markers and do some really quick coloring to get some color on him. So I'm using three different red shades. I'm using R24. I'm then going in with some R59, which is a really deep red, just to kind of add to the outside edges and a little bit to underneath of his belt and his beard to add a little bit of shading. And then I'm gonna go in with R46, which is kind of in the middle of both of those colors, and I'm going to use that to help blend the two together and kind of make everything look really nice and blended. I did go back a few times with the reds just to get them blended out. I was having a bit of a hard time kind of getting it to be a really nice smooth blend, but once I went back and forth with the colors, I was able to kind of smooth that out and I was much happier with the result. For his belt, his boots, and his gloves, I'm just using two shades of gray. I'm not doing really a whole lot of shading. I'm going to use three shades for his skin, and then I'm gonna go in with some R20 onto his cheeks and nose as well. I will end up going back in with some R21. I felt like the R20 was a little bit too washed out and it really wasn't giving me that pink look I was going for. And then for the white areas, I went in with some C2, C0, and C00 to add in a little bit of shading to make it look a little bit more dimensional. Okay, so off camera, I did cut out my Santa image with my scissors. I decided to fussy cut him so I didn't have any white border around him. And then I also cut out two snow hills using the Stitch Snowdrifts Dynamics. 
These are gonna be layered at the bottom of the card and then we're gonna have Santa kind of jumping up from the snow. And then we're also going to have this secondary sentiment here that I'm stamping kind of peeking out from the top ho 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 on this design. So for this here, I decided I wanted to stamp it onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with white embossing powder. And once I did that, I just kind of laid it out on the card to figure out for sure where I wanted it to go. And then I just used my scissors and trimmed that down so it would fit into that area. So we now have all the pieces ready to assemble the card. So I'm gonna to start to add everything to the background here. So for the first hoe, which is going to be the pink one here, I'm going to use some liquid glue and I'm going to attach this directly to the sky in the background. I'm just gonna glue that straight down on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the second one in the exact same way. I'm gonna use some liquid glue. And for this one here, I kind of moved it over to the right so that the Santa will kind of overlap that when we add him to the card. I also wanted this one to kind of tuck down into the snow to make it look like it was a full scene. So I did add the snow just kind of slightly overlapping that and then I added the other piece of snow directly at the bottom. I used my scissors and trimmed off the excess and now we have the entire background area completely assembled. Now for the Merry Christmas, I wanna use the little accent piece that goes with this word here and I'm going to layer it over top with some foam adhesive. So I'm just adhering the sentiment strip directly to the card with that same liquid glue and then I'm going to take the foam adhesive and I'm going to trim it down since that little piece we're adding is a little bit skinny and I'm going to add that foam adhesive all the way down here so that I can add this to the card. I love these little accent pieces that go onto this phrase. I just think it adds a fun playful look and it allows you to add a little bit of definition without actually putting some foam adhesive on the entire sentiment. And then once I have that pink one on there, I'm just gonna repeat the same process on the other one here, the H. And this one here, like I mentioned before, is going to be the center of the H. So once again, I'm gonna grab a little bit of foam adhesive and I'm going to add that directly on there and then I will adhere that to the card. Now for the Santa, I decided to add him with foam adhesive as well. So I'm going to cover the entire back of him with some foam adhesive. And now I'm just adding him on here so it looks like he's jumping out of the snow and you can see that he layers over the center area of that sentiment really nicely. For the last one here, we're going to use the same liquid glue once again, and I'm going to add this down onto the bottom snow hill. And then I will take that layering piece and use the same foam adhesive and add that to it as well. And then once I have that done, we have completed our fun sentiment. It says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, which is a great sentiment to use with that really fun, playful Santa image. And then we have kind of a scene built around it, so it looks like he's actually outside in the snow. Now once I have that done, the last thing we need to do is add this to a card base and add a few sequins to the scene. So I did add, add some marshmallow confetti sequins to the front of this card, and then I'm adding it to a Razzleberry card base just to kind of have it coordinate with the pink that we used in the sentiment there. And then I decided I wanted a little bit of sparkle in the sentiment as well, so I am going to take my Nouveau glitter pen. This is just a very clear sparkly pen. It just kind of adds a little bit of shimmer to your design. And I'm going to add it onto the different areas of the sentiment except for the pieces that I added as accent pieces. Those ones there I left completely plain, but I did add the sparkle to the rest of the words. And then once we have that done, we have finished the card and we ended up with a really fun, playful card design that ho 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 is a lot of fun. There's so many ways that you can combine it to create some really unique looks on your card designs. And having those little accent pieces is a great way to really dress it up and kind of change out how it looks on each of the different card designs. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you got some ideas on ways that you can use this die set as well as the Jingle All The Way stamp set, which was released a couple of years ago, I think now. I had a lot of fun creating this card and as always, I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another video soon.